Well, uh, as uh, he was born in Jiquilpan, a small town in the uh, west, uh, northwest of uh, Michoacán, a central south state in Mexico. He uh, lived there till uh, he was 18 when he joined the revolution. He knew about the revolution in his hometown. He uh, tried to uh, well, discuss with friends and people in, in, the, in his hometown about what was happening in Mexico when the revolution broke in 1910, in November 1910. And uh, some years later, in 1913, when he was a uh, uh, little less than 18, he joined the revolution. He went. Uh, to join it in a town also in the state of Michoacán, in what we call the Tierra Caliente, a hot uh, climate uh, region in, in, uh, in the central part, central south, southern part of, of Michoacán. And from then on, he was uh, a revolutionary. From Michoacán, he came to Mexico City, then he went to the state of Sonora, always uh, as a revolutionary. And it was in the state of Sonora, in the north uh, west of Mexico and with the border with, uh, with uh, Arizona that uh, uh, he really made a, a military career. There he, uh, he was for several years and he entered in politics some years later. He became governor of the state of Michoacán in 1928, 1928, 1932 then he became a, the presidential candidate at the end of 1933. And uh, he was, uh, his, his presidential term was from 1934 to 1939, to 1940, excuse me. This, uh, this is the, the period, the, the term, in which the oil uh, company's expropriation took place. And I think you wanted to talk about the oil expropriation and uh, Lázaro Cárdenas' uh, 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 role in this, uh, in this very important uh, fact of Mexican history and of the Mexican Revolution.